In February, the city of Nogales requested the concertina wire placed on the U.S. border be taken down, but U.S. Customs and Border Patrol have refused to remove it. Cronkite News reporter John Cardinelli has more on what the future holds for the city. John? While there, has, well, while there has been a formal petition done, the city of Nogales finds itself in a difficult situation. We spoke to local residents, a local business owner, and a city councilman to find out more about the new reality Nogales is dealing with. Um, Corey's, our, our bridal store, has been here since 1968, um, and La Cinderella since 1947. For decades, the Cory family has owned and operated the two businesses, serving the border region between Nogales, Arizona and Nogales, Sonora. Um, we have customers as far as Hermosillo and even more south, and customers from Phoenix that, that visit us when they're here. But the landscape in front of Cory's drastically changed last November, after Customs and Border Patrol installed this concertina wire all along the existing border fencing. The, the razor wire that went up was um, I guess initially very shocking and, and kind of scary because we didn't know what the impact would be. Um, but thankfully, um, our customers, I think, of ambos Nogales, both, both sides of the, of the border, are um, very unified and um, they don't hold that against us. The sight of the wire and additional border surveillance is jarring for many Nogales residents. I don't think it's a good thing. For me, adding extra fencing is racist against Mexicans. In February, the city of Nogales unanimously voted to have the concertina wire removed immediately. Fast forward three months, and the wiring is still there. I, I don't think we can win it in court, to tell you the truth, Some this particular issue. Now, there's some issues at the border with people coming across and being delayed. There are some issues there that I think uh, violate our Constitution. Nogales Council Member Dr. Marcelino Verona Jr. has lived in Nogales his whole life and says there's really nothing the city can do at this point to get the wire removed since it's installed on federal property. It's not that I don't think the community is anti the Constantine wire. We don't like our community to look like an, an enhanced prison system. All right. We should be welcoming the people who can cross legally. Despite the city's vote for the wire to be removed, some residents do recognize the need for additional security along the border. I do think it's a good idea because a lot of people don't adhere to the rules and they continue jumping the fence. If they get hurt trying to cross over, they shouldn't be attempting to do it in the first place. In addition to the wire, some Nogales business owners also point to an additional problem that's affecting their bottom line, forcing some stores to close. We've been affected for several years now, mainly due to the long um, border wait times. So the pedestrian crossing is very unpredictable as well as the, the vehicle crossing. But um, we depend on, on pedestrians largely. So you know, for them to wait two or three hours at a time is very difficult on them and over time we feel that that effect. Our reporting has found that there is no time set for the removal of that concertina wire, so it is unclear when and if that is going to happen. Live from the digital desk, John Cardinelli, Cronkite News.